So today we're going to try to remove a wart on my guy's nose. He's got a, a wart right inside his nostril here and it's a fairly large one. Uh, it's probably about the size of the end of my baby finger. So um, I got a halter on him so I can have some control of his head. I'm going to be using treats to try and keep him engaged because I need to, I'm going to burn it off with a liquid nitrogen type um, apparatus product and I need to be able to hold that thing on his nose for about 40 seconds to actually burn the, the wart off. So I've been working with him a little bit to allow him to let me to, um, to, to for him to allow me to touch his nose for a few seconds, maybe 10 seconds without shaking his head around because I, I need some steady, steady holding. Um, if I, if I do hand treats with him, he's going to be trying to get at my hand to to, to get at the treat because he can smell the goodies in my hand and that's going to be awkward when I'm trying to hold the apparatus and the treat. So I've been using the bin and I've been working with him a little bit just to try and improve his holding the nose longer. So I'm going to hold the nose, put the treat here maybe for now. So I'm going to just get him ready, hold the nose, put my finger on the actual wart for several seconds and if he's good and he's holding steady, which he's doing right now, then I'm going to throw a treat in his bin and he gets that and he's done that a few times with me already so he kind of knows the drill on that one so I'm just going to do it a couple more times just to cement that make sure it's good and solid before we um, try and do the wart removal because it is going to sting a bit so whether he'll hold it for me then is, is a, another challenge so we're going to do this again and I'm putting a little bit of pressure on that wart as well because I have to make sure that the applicator makes good contact with the wart in order to properly burn it off. So hopefully that is good. So now we will get the applicator out. It's one of these, um, this is just a, a no-name product, but you can buy these at the drugstore. They're great. Um, they come with instructions. They come with everything that you need. And there's different sizes of applicators for different sizes of warts. So I'm going to take the largest one because this is a fairly large wart. Get that out of the container. And take that out of there. No, that's not the largest one. I want one larger than that. Of course. Like that too. Yeah, good stuff in the box, eh? Way in the bottom of the box. There we go. Okay, so we want that one. We only need, I think we're only going to need one of those. They give you multiple applicators, so that's a good thing. You have several warts. Now, I, this is more of a cosmetic thing for me. That wart is really not bothering him. I could probably leave it there. Um, it's more bothering me. The the um, just looking at it every day bothers me. So you basically with this type, there's different types, but with this type you you apply it to the or you stick this into the uh, top. Then we're going to put this into here, and as I plunge down, that will activate this um, capsule or canister, and it'll release some chemical liquid nitrogen type chemical, and it fills the um, the uh, what's it called here, the cotton batten at the bottom of this. So it's going to make a bit of a hissing sound, which I hope won't spook him off. They say to hold it for three seconds. Then they say to take it out and hold it upside down for 15 seconds to make sure that it's in the thingy. I'm going to give him a treat here just because that was a strange noise just to keep him engaged. And now I'm going to try and touch that with and he won't let me, of course, because it smells funny too, right? So this is the other funny thing here. Ah, ah, ah. Come on back. Come on back. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Now I can, I'm not sure if you can actually see that because he's kind of beyond the doorway here. Come on. 
but I want to make good contact with it. Good boy. Come on. It stings a little bit, so he's not too thrilled. And I'm not counting. I should be counting to see if we're up at 40 seconds at some point here, but we're just going to wing this. Good boy. And I'm going to give him an apple now. Come on. And he doesn't look worse for wear. Now it's probably, it's still steaming, so let's just try again. Just to use all the good stuff that's in there. I might do another application just because I didn't really get a good contact with it. And now that he's learned it, he's not afraid of it. So that helps me to get a better one for the second one. So maybe I'll try again with a, a second one. You don't care as long as you get an apple, right? And this is not the right size again. There. That's what I want. Good. It's cold here, so my fingers are getting a little numb. Working without gloves in the cold. Okay, so again, we're going to stick this thing into the applicator. And then push that down. Three. Hold it upside down. I'm just going to give him another apple to get him happy. Good, come here. Try this again. Okay, so now he's not as afraid of it as the first time. Just want to make a touch here. Good. Yeah, yeah. Just stay still. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 17, about 40 seconds roughly plus what I did the last time so now we just leave that for a few days and it should turn black and die and fall off so I'll watch it over the next few days and if it doesn't I'll just do another application and here's some more treats just to make that less painful because if I have to do it again uh, this whole process will help that as well because and there's some carrots in there too. It's been pretty positive for you. And there we go. So hopefully that was successful. Thank you for watching.